You should be checking out the MDRP XP series if you are in the market for a full stainless dual side exit catback for your 2014 and newer 6.4 gas or powered Ram. You'd like a good amount of volume and ultimately would prefer to keep things as budget friendly as possible. Now price point for the full stainless system will live in that low $800 range. And the install, according to the site, is going to get a middle of the road, two out of three wrenches on the old difficulty meter here. Take a couple of hours or so to knock out from start to finish, as we'll show you guys later in the video. But since this is an exhaust video after all, let's get into what you guys are all here for. And that, of course, is sound and volume. Now, on that volume topic, I have the XP series coming in at a strong three out of five on my one to five or one to wake the neighbor scale here, guys. Definitely plenty of bark coming out of the system and fitting for a big V powered truck. Now sound profile with the XP system, listen, I have no complaints. You're getting plenty of bark when you're on the loud pedal, uh, at least from the outside, but still relatively quiet and mild on the inside of the truck while cruising. Now, if I did have any complaints here with the system is that noise on the inside, at least the drone is extremely minor, but it is present. Um, I do want to point that out. However, I would say most owners of the 6.4 powered Rams probably aren't going to mind because the system does sound just so darn good. But switching gears, I do want to quickly mention MBRP's approach to exhaust here on the site, guys, because it is pretty impressive. Now, the lineup is extremely vast, especially when it comes to the truck offerings here on the site, because you are getting basically something for everyone in the land of configuration. They got their dual rear side exit like this kit, dual side exit, dual rear exit, single side exit, black, silver, different materials, different diameters. You get the point, right? Basically, MBRP has something for everybody and every budget, it just really comes down to what you are after and ultimately how much you want to spend. Now, as far as your construction or system breakdown here with the XP series, guys, listen, you can expect this to fall right between MBRP's installer series on the entry level side of things, and then the Pro Series Catback, which is the company's top shelf option. Now, the major difference between all of these different kits is the materials used. For instance, the XP series, again, on the table today, gonna utilize that 409 grade stainless steel material, generally a middle of the road material, if you will, between that aluminum steel on the lower side and then again the 304 grade stainless on the high side now with all that being said 409 still a solid stainless steel material and does get backed by mbrp's lifetime warranty but aside from materials, let's talk about what else you can expect here with this catback. And again, this is their four inch offering, meaning you're getting that four inch mandrel bent tubing throughout, all exiting out these massive five inch tips. Now this kit does include MBRP's straight through stainless steel bullet style muffler, which will obviously increase your airflow overall compared to your stock muffler and will allow for that rumble we all heard at the top of the video. Now, overall guys, those tips have been made from 304 grade stainless, by the way. That is that premium material. It's the lone 304 of the system. Everything else is 409. And then those tips will exit out of both sides of the rear of the truck, right behind those rear tires. I always think that's a great truck configuration, if you will. Looks awesome and certainly far better than the wimpy factory single side exit system. Now, as far as your installation is concerned, well, the good thing here is guys, no cutting needed whatsoever. This is a 100% bolt on job, but to give you a better idea of just how things will go down on your Ram at home, check out our detailed walkthrough and tool breakdown. Tools required for this install include an impact driver, a ratchet, an exhaust hanger remover, a 14 millimeter wrench, a 15 millimeter deep socket, a 14 and a 10 millimeter socket, an eight millimeter Allen, a pair of safety glasses, and a pry bar. What's up guys? Today we're gonna to be installing an exhaust on our 2017 Ram 2500. So our first step's gonna to be to remove our hangers. So let's get right to it. All right, so we have to remove this exhaust hanger up here first. It's a little tight up there, so it's hard to get an exhaust uh, hanger tool in there. So we're gonna go ahead and use a pry bar. And we can kind of just go ahead and work either side back and forth. Right, and just like that, our hanger's free. All right, so our next step's gonna be to remove our clamp. Uh, it might be a good time to grab some safety glasses. When you take these off, rust tends to fly everywhere. So I got my 15 millimeter socket in on an impact gun, and go ahead and remove it. 
All right, now we can go to the back side and start to wiggle out this tailpipe. I find it easier to bang on the edge of the muffler here with a little rubber mallet. Okay, so we have two hangers on the back side of the larger muffler and then one hanger on the front and our clamp. So we'll undo our first hanger, undo our clamp, and then we can slide it out of the back two hangers. All right, now with our clamp loose, we can go ahead and slide this muffler out. So we were able to slide our hanger out on this side, but this side's a little tighter, so I'm gonna get in there with our remover tool. And now we can go ahead and pull straight back. So our last step is going to be to remove our final exhaust hanger, remove our clamp, and then we can slide this pipe out. So now that we have our stock exhaust uninstalled, we can go ahead and lower our spare tire. So you get a little tool kit, it's usually tucked under the back seat of the truck. So you've got these little poles, you've got these tabs, you push in, they click into these holes. And then we can use our tire iron, slide it through here with this pin again. And now we're going to be looking into this small little access hole. This square tip is going to meet up on the inside and then we can turn to the left and lower our tire. All right, so now we can go into that access hole kind of at a downward into the left angle. And then when we connect our pole, we twist to the left and lower our tire. And then once we have some slack on our tire, we can go ahead and fish out our mount. And just like that, our spare tire's out. All right, so our next step is to remove these three bolts holding this tire heat shield on. So I'll use a 10 millimeter socket and get these out. So now that we have our three bolts removed, we can go ahead and install our bolt and our big washer. Pull back on that heat shield and it'll slide through the large hole. And then we can come back on the other side with another large washer. And then our hanger. 
And then we'll use our small washer, our lock washer, and our nut. And then we can loosely secure this with a 14 millimeter wrench and 14 millimeter socket. And then we can repeat that same process on the other side. So now coming back to our spare tire holder, we have this heat shield. There's gonna be two more 10 millimeter bolts back here holding it in and we can fully remove that. Right, and with our heat shield out, we can move on to our next step. All right, so our next step is to take our extender pipe. Now there's gonna be a little notch on the top of here that this little cutout slides into. It's gonna help properly align the exhaust. Just make sure you slide it in there. And then we can take our exhaust clamp with the hanger Slide it over and then into our hanger here. And then we can tighten that down with a 15 millimeter socket. And now we can move on to our next step. All right, so now we can go ahead and install our muffler. So we're gonna take a three and a half inch clamp, slide it over the edge. And then we can slide our muffler into place. And then we can come in with a 15 millimeter socket and we'll leave it a little loose so that we can adjust at the end. All right, so next we can install our over axle pipe. So we can take another three and a half inch clamp, and slide it over the other side of our muffler. And then we can slide our pipe into place and get it into the hangers. And now we can snug down our clamp a little bit loose with our 15 millimeter, just like our last one. All right, now we can move on to our next step. All right, so now we can go ahead and install our Y pipe. So we can take our four inch clamp, and slide that over. And now we can move on to our tailpipes. All right, so now we can install our driver's side tailpipe. So we'll take another four inch clamp, slide it over. And then we can connect it up and slide it into our hanger. Now we can go back with our 15 millimeter socket 
and get this clamp loosely fitted. And now we can move on to our passenger. So now we'll just do the same thing on the passenger side. Take our four inch clamp, slide it over, get our pipe into place. And slide it into our hanger. And now we can move on to our tips. Right, so now we can install our tips. So these will just slide over and you can adjust these to however you like. You can have a lot of poke, bring it back in for something less aggressive. I like to have that little bit of poke, so we'll leave it about there. And then we can take our eight millimeter Allen and snug this up. And we can do the same thing on the other side. All right, so now our last step is to get the exhaust in a position we like and then tighten down all the clamps and that'll wrap up this install. So that'll wrap up this review and install of the MBRP 4-inch XP series dual exhaust system with polished tips and side exit for your 2014 to 2022 6.4 liter Ram 2500. Thank you for watching and remember for all things Ram, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.